What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in. This is Sawdust and Wanderlust build number three. We're making these super easy DIY mason jar holders. They're great for kitchens and bathrooms. People are putting Q-tips, cotton balls, uh, kitchen utensils, spices, pasta, beans, impastas, cool beans, jelly beans. You can pretty much hold any gut busters, screaming memes, husker do's, husker don'ts, uh, some nipplers with or without the scooter sticks. So you can pretty much hold whatever you want in these. So without further ado, let's build it. The main ingredient in this mason jar recipe is a 1x4. Now if you see the way that I'm hanging my mason jars, this piece of material works perfectly. If you want to hang them the opposite way, either go with a, a wider material such as like 1x6 or use a smaller mason jar, like a half pint. I'm using the, the full pint mason jars, which are about 5 and a quarter inches tall. I want my holder to have 4 of them and I need to account for a couple inches of spacing in between each one to get my hands clearance to get in there or whatever that I'm storing in there so that it's not sitting right on top of each other. I cut mine to 28 inches, but if I was to do it again, I'd probably cut it at 30 inches and leave another inch or two at the bottom. Now, if you don't have a miter saw like I do, go ahead and get a miter box, miter box saw, because you can get the job done perfectly with this. Now you want to find the center of your board so you can measure and mark where you're going to be putting all of your holes. The drill bit that I use is going to be 13 64ths, and the places where I'm drilling my holes are going to be at 1 and 3 quarters, 8 and 3 quarters, 17 and 3 quarters, and 23 and 3 quarters. Now after you've got your holes drilled, go ahead and sand everything down. I love breaking out the blowtorch and torching the wood very lightly. You can paint the wood, you can stain the wood. I would tell you what to do, but I won't, so do as you wish. Now to get these things up on the wall, you want to attach something to hang them with. I had some sawtooth hangers lying around as well as some D-rings, so I went ahead and attached those real quick. Hit it with a few light coats of some polyurethane. If you're using it in a bathroom or somewhere with high humidity, the more coats the better. The last step is to tie in your mason jars. I use a suede cord. I really like this stuff. I like the way that it looks, I like how rigid it is, and how well it holds once you tie a knot behind the board. Thanks for checking out this video. I had fun making it. I hope you had fun watching it. If that's the case, go ahead and press that like button. Hit the dislike button if you don't like your grandma's cooking. And subscribe, because I'm coming out with cheap, easy, quick DIY videos for you to learn, build, make, create, grow, do it. I dig it. I like that you like it, if you do like it, so like it. For the meantime, Sawdust Dave, signing out. It's like Sawdust Bay.